Join me now, founder of the hashtag walkaway campaign, Brandon Strzok. Brandon, thank you for joining me. Uh, Brandon, my blood's kind of boiling listening to Obama just sit there and lie and lie and lie about President Trump saying, are you better off four years ago? Yes, people are better off four years ago. Uh, yes, we were hit with this pandemic, but to blame that on President Trump is just misleading. Also, like, imagine what the Democrats would be doing. You think of how Obama and Biden even handled H1N1, which was a total disaster. So uh, I think uh, under Democratic leadership, we would not be better off as a country. And you just see what's happening in the blue states and how they handle this pandemic. Right, absolutely. And, um, you know, it's funny because before the coronavirus uh, pandemic hit, the country was doing amazingly well. And if you break it down to every possible demographic, I mean, every racial group, every gender group, every everybody was doing demonstrably better in some way, enough, uh, uh, some way or another. And then the pandemic hit. And I mean, if you look around the country, <laughs> the pandemic affected everybody, everyone's economy. I mean, the, the idea that this is somehow Trump's fault, that the economy faltered. Or th and by the way, these are the people who want to keep the economy shut down. These are the people who are pushing to not reopen. So, I mean, it's crazy that they're doing this. And it's the same sort of um, uh, frustration and, and anger that I felt when Michelle Obama was speaking recently, too. And she, of course, her tactic was to keep the narrative alive of the racial division that the Black Lives Matter uh, protests are all very peaceful, that, uh, you know, white supremacy is on the rise because of President Trump. It, they have nothing but lies to propel their campaigns forward. I didn't see it, you know, back in the day. But as I've said time and time again, once you see it, you can't unsee it. And now that's all I see when I watch these people speak. Yeah, and then Obama was talking about how, like, the top 1% got richer because of Trump's tax cuts. Like, everyone benefited from Trump's tax cuts. And also, he complains about that, but if you look back at the numbers, the top 1% actually got richer d during the Obama administration, uh, but they don't want to talk about that because it doesn't fit their narrative because they always claim they're, they're there to help the poor people, but actually they're not. Their policies don't do right. that. Um, and also, you heard him complaining about... Uh, President Trump and not wanting to give coronavirus relief to the American people. That's actually House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Uh, she's been playing right. games, trying to put all these non-related uh, issues into a coronavirus relief bill. And so uh, that's why it actually hasn't passed. So he goes out there and he lies and he uh, apparently gets away with it because the mainstream media won't fact check him. They're just uh, so surprised and gleeful that he's out on the campaign trail, finally campaigning for Biden because where has he been? He's been totally on the sidelines, not helping his guy. Uh, which is rather curious. I think it says a lot about what he thinks of uh, Biden as a candidate. I think it absolutely does. And, you know, it's because this was his vice president. And I think that, you know, he could have been out there constantly providing some of that energy that Joe Biden is unable to provide for himself, you know, out there trying to, to you know, build a little momentum for this campaign. And he's chosen not to do that. And I do think that that speaks volumes. And in terms of the, um, the the stimulus package, I mean, you're absolutely right. If they wanted to get money to the American people and provide relief, they could do it immediately. But unfortunately, Nancy Pelosi has decided to pad all of these bills with things like a $300 million endowment uh, for to, to the endowment of the arts and the um, and and the, the humanities, another $300 million, and. Um, these are things that they're trying to push through that they can't get through any other way. So they have to stick it in during uh, an emergency relief fund. And um, if they really cared about the American people, they could just get money to them right away. Yeah. And I thought it was kind of uh, rather curious as well when Obama didn't want to endorse Biden early on. So uh, we're keeping an eye on that. Why, why do you think Biden actually was uh, has been hiding for the past few days? Do you think he's just sleepy Joe or is, he doesn't want to answer questions about the Hunter Biden email scandal or both? Well, both, both definitely. But there's, you know, the, the, this Hunter Biden situation is really blowing up and it's becoming, I think, more and more sort of it's getting juicier every day. And so I think that, you know, one benefit to being a Democrat is that the media will cover up for you. They'll omit, they'll do anything. They can. I mean, now they're trying to attack Rudy Giuliani and dig in on him so that they can discredit him somehow in this whole process. And um, so, yeah, I think that he's trying to just sort of wait this situation out, but I don't think it's going to go away. I hope it doesn't go away. Yeah, really quickly, you uh, made a music video. You shared it on Twitter. It's going viral. I shared it on Twitter, and we have it. Roll tape. Don't be discouraged. Oh, I realize it's hard to take courage in a world full of people.
You can lose sight of it all The darkness inside you makes you feel so small But I see your true colors shining through Who knew you had such a great voice? Uh, oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, so now, uh, now you're at war with Hollywood over this video. Apparently, they're going after you. So Cindy Lauper uh, made a statement yesterday saying that she, uh, you know, rejects my my cover of this in all and in, in the strongest possible terms. She calls it a, 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 a piece that's p promoting hate and division. Uh, and she said that anything that has to do with the MAGA movement is contrary to any, you know, anything that has anything to do with her music. And um, sadly, you know, we so we tried to go around in and actually purchase the rights through Sony so that we could do the right thing. And Sony is refusing to uh, allow me the rights because of how Cindy Lauper feels about this. So what does that mean for you that you'd have to take it down from Twitter or like what does that mean, even mean? I would say that that's probably what it means. Um, I, I'm going to continue to talk to my lawyer and see what my options are. But it's just sad because, you know, none of the, this wasn't a troll move on my part. I, I legitimately tried to create something beautiful and meaningful. And I think that it was really touching people and it was really impactful. Cindy Lauper said she didn't even watch it and she's not going to bother to watch it. And I just, to me, it's really sad because she's been a big advocate to the LGBT community and I am a gay man. And she's basically saying that there's only one way to be LGBT. You have to be a liberal or a Democrat and that LGBT people like me, uh, there's something wrong with us and we don't count. And I don't think that that's what an LGBT advocate should be saying or the message they should be putting forward. I think it's sad. Yeah. And Brendan, we're almost totally out of time, but I want to give you a second to talk about the walkaway campaign. Uh, I see you're traveling. Looks like you're Skyping in with me from a hotel room. So uh, w what states have you been to and uh, where do you plan to go before the election? It would take too long to tell you where we've been to, but we are the, right now we're in Minnesota. In a couple of days, we're putting on a rally in Nebraska. We're adding an extra pop-up rally in Pennsylvania because Pennsylvania is so important. And then we're heading to Atlanta, Georgia, and that should get us to Election Day, I believe. So um, people can go to walkawaycampaign.com and click rallies. If you're in any of these areas or even close by, come attend, show up and support. America needs you. This is important. Come, come, come be a part of what we're doing. Walkawaycampaign.com. Thanks for coming on with us, Brandon. We appreciate it. Thanks, Stephanie.